you know, I feel a lot of different things, but I've always played for team success. So to get the games is, to get 300s great, and I can understand the milestone for the footy club and the history behind it all. But um, I've just enjoyed playing footy and always wanted to do well and help blokes and um, hopefully be able to do that along the way. I think I was very lucky that I got to play locally at Anguston, that was my where I grew up, but then I got to play football um, at Central Districts in the reserves and the league and cricket for Northern Districts Cricket Club. So I got to play against men. So I was 16, 17 and got to train and play with them. So it was pretty, I suppose, intimidating, but it was probably still of that old school where, you know, senior blokes talk, young blokes, you just sit in the corner and if you get spoken to, you say something. <laughs> I was brought up with the family, but also country was, it's always about the team and it's always about giving stuff to the community. So it's always a bigger purpose. You know, you always grown up that your word was what you said you were going to do. And that was installed by granddad and my dad as well. And when you do something, try to do it to the best of your ability. When came over here, I remember getting picked up at the airport um, from Serge, Ian Miller, and uh, went to, we're trying to clam on Oval. So I went there and I thought it was pretty cool, some ripped jeans and tried to fit in and, you know, rocked up there, wish I called everyone in and you're at the front and it's pretty daunting because you get all the players like, you know, Chris Judd, Ben Cousins, Michael Gardner, Drew Banfield, star players and the uh, just an 18 year old coming in. So um, it's not hard to fit in, but I think it was more just about sat back and took it all in and tried to find your way that way. Here he's now he can kick a long ball. This will be good from 60 metres, Shannon When you're younger, you just, you do, you want to play. You want to see the club be successful, but you want to be able to play. So then very quickly you realise that playing and not winning is not that exciting. And that's unfortunately what we had through 2008, 9 and 10. You know, while we still had some talent there, we just, it just didn't quite work with, with how we wanted to be. So I think 2008 and 9, we maybe finished 13th, 14th, and then 2010 was last. And, you know, the club, and probably rightly so, tried to focus on you know, having a better image, um, what the playing group was like, how we went about it. And I think that really put us in good stead for how we are now. But you want to play to win. So very quickly got sick of losing and through that time was pretty hard. 2018 Grand Final, West Coast and Collingwood. Yeah, you know, looking back, memories from 2018 Premiership in the day, because you focused on the game so much and it was, and it was so close, well, first 10 minutes weren't close, but... Uh, you always so you just so focused on what was next and getting back into the game and then getting in front and then having to wait the last 10 seconds. I certainly think the final siren was pretty good. You know, it's all the hoo-ha that goes with it. And they're going to put a big flag out there in a moment because the eagle has landed on the premiers in 2018. And number 25, the captain, Shannon Hearn. You know, the lap of honour, seeing everyone, seeing family, friends, people involved from the footy club, sponsors, everyone just really enjoys it, which is great. Walking to the change rooms afterwards, memory I have, you know, a lot of people in there now that have been along the ride from footy club, but the things that I enjoy is just being able to sit back with a playing group, you know, the 22 blokes that played, but the whole the whole 45 people in the squad, just to be able to sit there and realise what you've done. But, anything you want to say? No, maybe you still want to think you're doing it. It's all about uh, actions, boys. It's not about words, it's about actions. It's yeah. what we want to do. Yeah. It is about team success, but I understand you can weigh up at times about your individual needs, and I was always taught growing up that you get your own fulfilment out of football and your own enjoyment so people can tell you why you play footy or how to play footy or you know, enjoyment but it's really you that has to get that from it because that's where your passion comes from so you need to find out early on why do you enjoy playing football and as I said that was for me it was more about the, the team success and doing well yes I love playing football to go home was never really um, a thought. Early days when you first get drafted, you always go, oh yeah, well, how good would it be to stay in South Australia or your hometown and play? But after six months to a year here, this was just a good place to be. You learn your independence growing up and even through the middle of my football career, everyone can have potential offers to go other places. But I was always going to stay here because of the the opportunity I had from the club um, and as I spoke before a bit how it's brought up is 
you be as loyal as you can be to your decision and what you want to do. So of course, if things don't work, somewhere along the line, there's got to be a change. But I was always um, keen to make it, to, to do what I could to make it work. Burn. What a superstar he has been. He's only getting better and more important for this group. His year last year was superb. So good again this year. Growing up and first coming over here to West Coast, understood about Glenn Jakovic, Peter Matera, Guy McKenna, Drew Banfield, you know, Andrew Embry played 250 games. Ben Cousins played a lot of games for us. They were just great players of West Coast and um, 250 games or whatever's 12, 13 years minimum of playing. So to get 300, if Coxie or um, Jacko, Glenn Jakovic or someone couldn't get there, I was always like, oh, well, no one's going to be able to get there. But um, you know, I'm very you know, hum humbled by about play that number. But it's all been about trying to, you know, individually, I just want to get the best out of myself. And that was through preparing how you play, looking after your body. You need a lot of luck along the way too. But I've just been fortunate enough that I haven't had any major injuries. When you're younger, I think it's just, yeah, you just want to get a game and then it's, oh, I just want to play well. And then your progression is, oh, I just want to win. So it doesn't matter if you play well or, or not, you just want to win. And um, I had that early days, um, just wanting to be able to win. And I've just been fortunate enough to be around. And the longer you're around, the more chance you are playing more games. I thoroughly enjoy country and how I was brought up. And I certainly want to go back to the farm or country at some stage. But each year that goes by in footy, I really love seeing players get better. You know, I've been lucky enough to have a lot of experiences, so to try to pass them on, you see the players coming through, go through different challenges that you went through individually, or you see other players that went through, and not that you have a laugh, but you go, mate, I've seen that, um, you know, go about it this way, or someone else went this way. It's, you know, it's not that it's not a big deal, but it is when you are coming through trying to establish your career. So that's what I really enjoy doing, is helping players have an understanding about their own game, the way footy is, um, the expectations. So coaching does appeal to me. You know, teaching about decision-making skills and helping blokes find their way is something that I've you know, taken real passion in probably the last four or five years. So yeah, I'm not sure exactly what uh, I'm going to do post footy. Of course, I've got to make a decision, but um, coaching certainly interests me. Farm does at some stage as well, and then I'm just looking at doing a couple other different things um, between now and whenever my footy finishes. But uh, you never know; I might be able to go fishing for a couple of months and um, think about it, and yeah, make a decision from there.